Motivational video for Star Seeds and the Awakened Ones. Hello, thank you for joining me today. I am Marie Swaru. If you are watching this video, you most probably are also looking up to the stars at night, wondering if you are a star seed, or if you are or not from Earth. You may also wonder if your unworldly feeling is just your wish, or if it is pure fantasy. You may also feel that you are from Earth because you love it and feel it is your home, but you are very sad that so many things are wrong with its society because of so much injustice around you. Or you may feel completely from another planet far away, where your inner feeling tells you that your true home is there, while you feel completely out of place on planet Earth. The energy there is dense, and you easily feel overwhelmed as you unwillingly absorb the energy of everyone around you, and of the environment, it mingles with your own, creating a chaotic feeling deep inside you, that you don't want, and make you want to run away and cocoon yourself in your favorite hiding place. You may feel that you are alone, that no one is interested in the same things you are, and you may be constantly criticized by friends and family for thinking and being different sometimes gaslighting you into feeling that something is indeed wrong with you, sometimes, or in some cases even wanting to take you to therapy, so you can be normalized. I have come to find that the only thing that is real in that world, is you who is thinking and observing. If you feel like you are a starseed, if you have that inner knowing and the fear of how bad you could feel if it were not true, then you are a starseed. It is something you just know deep inside, and no one can argue otherwise, they may not understand you, or they may argue that there is no proof as they usually do, or plain tell you that they have known you all their life, perhaps even witnessed you being born there, arguing with it how wrong you are to be fantasizing about belonging to the stars, or even of being an extraterrestrial. But what matters is what you know for yourself about who you are with your deepest inner feeling that no one, not even you can suppress nor deny. You are the only one who knows your true identity, and remember that the body does not define what, and who you are inside. Or you may not even identify as a starseed, you may simply be going through a strong spiritual awakening, or you may not even want to believe in extraterrestrials, but nevertheless you still suffer from the consequences of being different. A starseed always knows that it is one, and even as it entered life on Earth with no memory of past lives, or not much of it, the memory erasure is only superficial, at the immediate conscious level of the mind, but deep inside, in the sub, and unconscious all the knowledge is there, and all starseeds feel it. They don't need direct detailed memory of their past lives on Earth or off-planet in some other faraway place among the stars, not having any past life memories is part of living on Earth, and this may not even apply to everyone as there are countless people that do have past lives and stellar off-planet memories to one degree or another. What is important is that your inner knowing tells you who you are, after all, Every single soul living on Earth and anywhere else, is a starseed, including all those who don't even understand the concept. I know life is hard on Earth, I've been there, but you chose to go in there willingly because you knew you could do it because you trusted yourself to be able to go through with the challenge. As I explained in my video, same events, different meanings physical or spiritual side, Suffering and hardship on Earth are seen differently from outside, from the spirit world, and from the perspective of other civilizations. You may feel that having gone into Earth was a mistake, but the fact is that most of you listening to me are on Earth. I know it hurts, I know you may feel incapable or even weak, as you must constantly confront all the hardship and all the injustice there, but you are very strong and being empathic and sensitive to all kinds of energy is a sign of strength, because it means that you have a very strong connection to Source, remember you are Source. Earth and its culture are not a fair place, 
There is no justice there, so don't expect to find any there, and don't expect anyone to give you justice and fairness to you as if you were entitled to it. Your job as a highly evolved and sensitive soul with a high connection to source is to bring justice there to earth, remember you are an antenna, a beacon and a channel to bring in all that high energy from source directly into earth through you. You are the ambassador of high realms, and it is your job to be there in your purpose, and simply by resisting and staying strong there you are doing it so well. Remember this, your empathy, and sensitivity are what make you strong because it means that you are source itself there, incarnated in you. You can't allow yourself to be weak there on earth, because that will breed nothing but suffering for you, the environment and the matrix people will walk all over you. You are there to learn to be strong because of your empathic and sensitive qualities, not despite them. If you are always looking for comfort you will not progress, it is hardship and challenges that will make you stronger, especially on earth. You must accept discomfort and use it as a challenge to progress in the direction you want, you must walk outside your comfort zone to expand the range of it. If you are incapable of being outside your comfort zone anything and everything outside of it will bother you, but if you face strong challenges, you will see that you are perfectly capable of solving them, and with it, your self-confidence will grow, and you will see what used to bother you before only as unimportant small things with no effect on you. Remember that the spiritual path must be walked alone, no two souls hold the same points of attention, so they will always have different points of view and different ways to approach anything. I know many times you may want to share with everyone around you what you've learned, but remember that not everyone is at your level, and sharing too much with them may only bring much frustration to you. Be patient and carefully discern whom to trust and with what information, give them little breadcrumbs to see if they want more, but if they don't, do not insist, love them for who they are, and know that not everyone is meant to awaken and know that most of the time it is better to be silent. Remember that silence is a powerful message as well. But viewing this from a more expanded point of view, from higher realms, you are never alone because you always have your spirit guides with you, always, and many times your stellar family as well. And those spirit guides are no one else but the more expanded versions of you and from that more expanded point of view, they include within their perception your point of view as well, so no one can understand you better than they can. You must know that spirits when in higher realms don't take life on earth and in the world of the living with all its hardships too seriously. They only see it as a game, as a dare and as a challenge. What goes on there and how things are seen while incarnated, or while visiting earth as a step down only have an in-game value. All souls know deep down that in the end everything will turn out okay, so they enjoy the ride. You must be the best version of yourself, always. As you spiritually awaken and understand more and more about everything, you will come to find that you are one with your higher self and that you are literally your higher self incarnated into a physical body. And as a light being in a physical body, it is your job to remain resilient, and strong because it is your job to bring in high frequency into the planet, and your surroundings and everything and everyone in them. Don't expect to be understood by most, only by a few if any, perhaps. Remember that you can understand people with a smaller worldview than yours, but they cannot understand yours, you are simply too big for them, accept that and be perfectly okay with it. You must be the higher realms on earth, don't wish emptily that were so, just be it, use your imagination, and live by it, that's why so many highly evolved creatures and souls always have childish qualities and attitudes. Imagination is truth from the perspective of higher realms and it is your job to make all of it real, seeding all of it into physicality on earth. 
If you want love and comprehension, be love and comprehension, if you want justice, then be justice, but never be weak in front of the matrix and its people, always remain mysterious and dangerous, keep your secrets and don't open too much to everyone. Remember you do not have to conform to what the matrix expects of you when you very well know that your ethics and your moral standards are so much higher than those who seek to make you obey theirs. Cherish your empathic qualities, and love your sensitivity, that is who you are. Remember that they are not weaknesses, they are your strengths. Protect your energy however you feel is best for you, use crystals and amulets if you like, they are helpful, but it is you who are giving them a meaning and a purpose. Have in mind that you can either see your next challenge as something to fear or as bothersome to do, or as something to overcome and make you feel capable and great afterwards, it's all up to you, it all depends on your attitude and on the meaning you want to give it. Always remember that you are not alone. And above all, remain strong. Thank you for watching my video, I appreciate it a lot. Until next time, and take care. With much love. Your friend. Marie Swaru.